is pre-weighed. We then transfer the rubber from the small barrels into the big barrel and then we will weigh how much liquid there is. A little sample will be taken and then go off into the office and be made into a little tiny pancake and dried down and that will tell us how many percent or how much rubber percentage is in the liquid. The liquid then gets poured into these tins mixed with a bit of formaldehyde when it goes to like a big jelly thing we go through the machine as you've seen before and it comes out into the water here and then goes through this machine and hangs up there to dry and then later when we have enough rubber it will be taken over to the furnace or the drying house and curing house and stuck in there at this point in time it more or less works out that we buy the rubber if you buy a thousand dollars worth of rubber and you make a pancake out of it and put it through this machine and then stick it through that machine and hang it up and leave it in the sun for a couple of weeks and take it down you make about 25 to 30 percent profit so if you buy a thousand dollars you'll get 250 dollars back when the curing house is up and running it'll go hang up there go take it in the curing house we fire the curing house up takes three days and we make a little bit more money so really it's, it's like a 25 percent return per day that's belly hard at work in the factory this is normal baby Sitting with no nappy, a bit of a cool breeze. But as of yet, we're not very efficient. Mm. As of yet, we're not very efficient. As you can see here, the tables are wood. I bought aluminium to put on them to make it so they could slide. So it's, the aluminium hasn't gone on yet. And I tell them to do things, but they, they just sort of... I have to actually sit there and point out what needs to be done. This, this tin can operation is not very efficient. So what we're doing is I've got a, a guy who's trying experimenting with a big tin, make a big tin and we slice it. So we just get 50 litres or 50 kilos at one, one hit. Or we'll join, make tins that are about five tins long and you can just use a stick and then we'll get a five kilo pancake which just runs through the machine in one big hit also need rolling machines and that's my biggest fear is I'll go back to Australia and uh, make, make money and I'll come back in six weeks or something and not one thing will have changed but I have to be here because as I say there is no industry no one's ever seen it done here before they don't understand and they don't think of making things efficient they just say because the wages are so cheap if you need a man to stand there and pick a thing up and put it down you do it instead of just having a, a roller to do it ergo why we can buy latex rubber at 65 or 70 baht a kilo and put it through a machine and just sell it at 95 baht a kilo or 900 baht a kilo because no one has the machines they do it by hand or they make cup rubber and the government I gather came up they have a government buying scheme where they buy the latex down in Bunta Rick and they come up and offered to rent the factory in the scales to do the buying up here because it's bigger and they have a, this, the big sheds can store all the rubber but they offered me a thousand five hundred baht a day which is not a lot, it's about fifty dollars and uh, they'd be using my scales and the cars would be chewing up the, car, the ground so I said no but maybe we'll start buying a large scale once we've got a truck and we can transport we can buy the cup rubber and the uh, pancakes off the farmers direct now what 
happened here is that the rubber from the two barrels I brought in is transferred into this barrel which we know weighs three kilos exactly and then we put it on the scale and we weigh it and the scale comes up with 68.2 kilo we subtract the three kilo for the barrel which makes 65 kilos and generally speaking it's about one-third latex which we'll go and test so it's 65 kilo we'll get 20 21 kilos of rubber and that'll go on to here to the tins those mothers cleaning and preparing as I said we'll put some acid in it turn into a sponge goes into the machines and then it's hung up to dry and if you say that that's got 20 kilos of rubber we pay 70 baht a kilo or 65 baht actually for this one so 20 65 so it's 650 thousand 1300 baht roughly 40 dollars and when it comes out the other side we get about three dollars a kilo no, 130 baht I think 150 baht, say, it's $50. And then when we sell it, we get about 25 to 30% more in value when it's run through the machines. So a pretty easy way to make some money, isn't it? And you just buy that, and then you stick it in this machine, and next thing, for every, really for every kilo you do, you make just under a dollar. There we go. I want to be doing a thousand kilos a day. We'll have to get a lot more efficient. Another machine like that one um, over here and a better feed line for supplying this big machine here which can just function straight through. So now they've transferred the latex into the bins. We have a three litre jug of latex and a lit two litre jug of water after which we're going to pour in a very dilute formic acid and it'll make a big jelly pancake. Very inefficient at this stage, but we've got to get our processes going as we get more. And, and then Belly actually taking a bit of work involved in it. Learning. We're all learning. Oh, I've got to go because the baby's grizzly and wants to cry. Lots of washing, so we said before, three litres of liquid or two litres of water. We use a lot of water, as you can see, everything gets washed. In